Whether you're new to Animal Crossing or a veteran, we've compiled a list of 13 essential tips that will make island living in New Horizons as smooth as possible. Here we go. Number one, one day at a time. With Animal Crossing, it's important to take it one day at a time. Unlike most games, binging Animal Crossing isn't the most efficient way to progress. Instead, you should check on your town daily as your island evolves. Most major milestones like upgrading your shop, expanding your house, and building the museum don't take effect until the day after you initiate the upgrade, so be patient. Number 2. The Shovel, Volting Pole, and Ladder if you've played Animal Crossing before, you might be wondering where you can get a shovel. Fear not, there are certain tools you won't be able to get until day two. Once you've donated five bugs or fish to Tom Nook, Blathers will set up a tent on your island. When you first meet the Scholarly Owl, he will give you a DIY recipe for a shovel and a vaulting pole. The vaulting pole will help you traverse more of the island, but you won't be able to venture up the cliffs until day three when Tom Nook gives you a DIY recipe for the collapsible ladder. Number three, buy everything. We recommend buying everything you can from Timmy and Tommy each day, especially if they are offering something you don't have. There are a couple reasons for this. First, when you buy or find a piece of furniture, wallpaper, or flooring you don't have, that item automatically gets added to your catalog. This means that you can order that item once again whenever you'd like using the Nook Stop machine. You can even earn Nook Miles for having lots of items in your catalog, which is a nice bonus. Second, you need to spend your hard-earned bells at Nook's Cranny in order to get the store to upgrade down the line. Line. Number 4. Wasps Shaking trees may seem like a harmless way to spend your time in Animal Crossing New Horizons, but occasionally you will disturb a wasp's nest. The first time a wasp stings you, your eye will get swollen. The second time, you will pass out. We recommend shaking trees with a net equipped. That way, if you rattle a nest or two, you can quickly catch the swarm before you get stung. If protecting your face wasn't a good enough reason to catch a wasp, you can also sell them for 2,500 bells each. Number 5. Eat Fruit This time around, eating fruit actually has some uses. Every time you snack on a piece of fruit, you'll see this counter go up in the top right hand corner. Each fruit you eat basically gives you one super strong ability like digging up a whole tree or destroying a rock. While we don't recommend destroying rocks in your town as they hold key crafting materials as well as money, digging up trees and replanting them somewhere else is a great way to rearrange your town's layout without causing mass deforestation. If you go to a deserted island using a Nook Miles ticket, you can even swipe a tree or two there, including palm trees to take home with you. Number 6. Non-Native Fruit Speaking of fruit, we don't recommend selling or snacking on non-native fruit. Instead, you should plant it. Any fruit, apart from coconuts that isn't native to your island, will sell for 500 bells. By planting fruit trees, you'll have a consistent source of income. Number 7. Donate to the Museum Whenever you uncover a new fossil or catch a new insect or fish, we recommend donating it to the museum right away. If you want to upgrade Blather's tent into the museum early on, the quickest way to do that is to donate everything you find and catch. Number 8. Hit Rocks it sounds weird, but you can hit rocks with an axe or a shovel to get resources out of them. There's also one random rock each day that will eject money when you hit it. So we recommend hitting all your rocks each day to stock up on resources and to get some extra cash. You need to hit rocks in quick succession to get everything out of them, so dig two holes behind you to brace yourself from the recoil so you don't have to readjust your position and waste time. Number 9. Talk to your villagers every day. They might give you DIY recipes or random gifts, they'll give you tips or hint at special NPCs who are visiting, and they're also just really cute. You can also get Nook Miles for talking to and befriending your neighbors, so there's really no reason not to say hi. Number 10. Visit Deserted Islands as you play, you'll collect Nook Miles for doing everyday tasks and hitting big milestones. You can spend Nook Miles at the Nook Stop machine, and there are a variety of important items and even abilities you can only get this way. One of the big ones is a Nook Miles ticket, which you can use at the airport to travel to smaller deserted islands. These islands have a ton of natural resources, including weeds if you've run out of them on your island, and you might even run into villagers. There are even rarer islands that are rife with money-making opportunities, including money rocks, and rare bugs. Number 11. Visit other people's islands. You'll also want to head to the airport from time to time to visit your friend's islands. You can sell your island's fruit in your friend's store provided they have a different fruit and you can increase your chance of money making in the turnip trade by checking your friend's turnip prices. Plus, you get Nook Miles for visiting and hosting other players. Number 12. How to crossbreed flowers. 
There are some insects that only appear around hybrid flowers, like the peacock butterfly, so you'll want to grow some as soon as you can. If you're lucky, you might find some on a deserted island, but they're not too hard to grow either. Plant two flowers of the same kind next to each other and water them, and you'll have a chance of finding a new flower the next day. For example, two red tulips can make black tulips, while red and yellow tulips make orange tulips, and red and white tulips make pink tulips. Experiment with different color combos to see what rare flowers you get. Number 13, Tarantulas. Depending on what hemisphere you're in, you may have encountered a few tarantulas by now. They can be a bit intimidating, but if you manage to catch one, it sells for an easy 8,000 bells. In order to catch one of these spiders, you'll need to ready your net and creep up to it. If it rears up at you, freeze. When it relaxes, you can inch closer until you are close enough to swing your net. If you just picked up Animal Crossing, be sure to check out our Day One Guide and Money Making Tips video on GameSpot.com and YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.